I'm the research director of the Asian Turfgrass Center, which is based in Thailand. And what our company does is provides information about turfgrass management to clients in, in Asia. Mostly we focus on, on East and Southeast Asia, from basically from Indonesia up to Japan. I used to be a golf course superintendent in Shanghai and also near Tokyo. Then I went back to Cornell University in New York and studied for my PhD. And uh, now I have a PhD in horticulture with an emphasis on turfgrass science. So I know about turfgrass management and also about the science of it. And I tried to share that information with golf courses and other turfgrass sites in Asia by doing research, by putting on training seminars, and just trying to, to share the best information about grass. We don't sell fertilizers. We don't, we don't sell grass. We don't sell mowers. We're just providing information so that people can implement it and hopefully improve the grasses of their facilities. Yeah, that's a good question about what is really some of the main problems on turf grass in this part of the world in Singapore. I think, you know, today it's, it's a bit cloudy, there's a bit of light coming through, but I would say the problem tends to be low light. And grass needs light to grow well. And on putting greens, we cut it really short. And when we cut the grass short, we're taking away so much of the leaf. And that means it, it can't handle the low light conditions very well. That, that would be the main problem, the low light conditions. The, the types of problems that we see when the grass suffers from the low light stress uh, can sometimes be algae or some bare patches, some thin turf. The way that I would try to address that would be to perhaps increase the cutting height a little bit, which people are scared to do. But if you increase the mowing height, you'll have more leaf area, and you can still have good putting conditions by mowing more frequently, by using growth regulators such as Primo Max that can help the grass be more healthy and be very careful about applying the proper amount of fertilizer to avoid making the grass grow too quickly. If you implement that, um, rolling the turf, increasing the mowing height, using some uh, growth regulators and, and proper fertilizers, you can improve the, the turf grass quality and help it to withstand the low light conditions. You asked about some of the, the misperceptions or misunderstandings or things that sometimes golf courses try to improve the turf and maybe it's not really giving them the effect that they want. And that's a really tough question to answer and I think it's something that is really unique to any individual golf course. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's all over the place. Some golf courses might choose a grass that, that they heard worked really well, but it, you know, maybe it's coming from Florida or something, and maybe it doesn't work well in Kuala Lumpur, or it doesn't work well in Jakarta. The one problem can be sometimes choosing the wrong grass that isn't quite adapted. Um, some golf courses aren't quite um, applying the right amount of water or the right amount of fertilizer, so sometimes they keep doing the same thing thinking that it's going to get better, but if they always have a problem of putting too much water or, or not enough fertilizer or something like that, they can sometimes have problems. So it's uh, it's tricky. It's, I can't answer that question exactly, but I would say there's, there's, there's a number of problems, uh, like choosing the wrong grass, applying too much water. Uh, those kind of things can cause problems.